show you how to make this twirling dancer using upcycled trash, craft supplies and the Think Fun Maker Studio winches set. Before we get started you're going to need to buy your own winches set. I provided a link for you to do that as well as links for you to get the other downloadable materials like a video and a PDF to make the mechanism using your kit. So let's get started. Once you've finished building the mechanism which looks like this, you can start decorating it. For demonstration purposes, I've positioned connectors and rods as placeholders as I decorate my cookie box, but you'll need to install the working mechanism before you decorate the real thing, like I did on the right. Cut a square of craft paper to cover the base of the box. Use the hole punch in your Maker Studio set to fit the paper over the main rod. Fix the square in place with tape. I've used coloured masking tape here. I've added craft paper leaves as an extra detail, which I've fixed in place with a glue stick. To make the grass around the box, take a strip of coloured paper and cut small lines down one side like so. Using the blunt edge of your scissors, scrape the cut paper to make the grass curl like so. Use tape to fix the grass to the box. Cut an extra slot in a piece of grass to work around the horizontal rod going through your box. Fix the grass in front of the connectors on the sides. These will act as flower boxes later. Work the grass around and down until the whole box is covered. I've finished my box off with felt, but be creative and choose a finish that suits you. Complete the flower box by pushing paper flowers into all the gaps, covering the connectors. To make the paper flowers, take a strip of craft paper and cut a wavy line down the centre, like so. One strip will create two flower heads. Take one wavy strip and roll it up as tightly as you can. I've used green masking tape to fix the flower head in place. Pinch the tape around the bottom to create the flower stem. Be sure to tape the flat end, not the wavy end, which creates the petal effect. Cut a cup out of an egg carton to make the top of the dancer's dress. I've used patterned masking tape to decorate mine. Cut the top off an empty water bottle to create the shape for the bottom of the dress. Using tissue paper, wrap the bottle to make the body of the dress. I've used the same patterned tape I used earlier to fasten the dress to the lid of the bottle. Repeat this process to make more layers, then cut shapes around the edges to make the skirt flow when the dress twirls. Fix the dress to the main rod. You can punch a hole in the bottle top to fit it if you like. Add the egg cup to the top and fix with tape to complete the full dress. Take a rectangle of felt and cut two slits like so. This will make the dancer's body and head. Roll the felt and fasten in the middle with ribbon. I've stuffed the head and body with tissue paper that was cut off the skirt earlier. To make hands, tie more ribbon on the ends of the arms. I've used embroidery floss to make the hair. Using a full skein of floss, tied in the middle, I cut through all the loops on either end, then tease the strands to make a full head of hair. Fix the hair to the head with a needle and thread. Then tie her hair back with some ribbon. Finish the face with marker pen and sit her body on top of the dress to complete your dancer. Check out this link for more projects. And don't forget, be creative!